Hi everybody, Slava Mudek here. Today I'm very very excited because we are going to uh, discuss driver activity. Driver activity uh, is a couple of channels of parameters where the driver has direct control over and uh, they are very very important when we want to compare multiple laps uh, of one driver or multiple laps of uh, different drivers we can mm, find uh, and analyze drivers la racing line mm, even driving style so this is very very important uh, development tool uh, for a racing driver and of course uh, we will help of uh, telemetry engineer so uh, before we start, uh, if you haven't seen um, previous uh, parts of this uh, tutorial, I uh, really, really recommend you to to watch all of them. Uh, the links are uh, on the screen. Um, and now we continue to our, uh, with our project. Um, as you can see, we have vital functions which we have already discussed uh, in the previous part and now we want to add new workbook so as you know uh, we click right click here and new workbook and we call it driver activity okay remember uh, you can't uh, add new graphs until you uh, load the, a file so before as you can see now, uh, I can click anything because uh, no file is loaded. So let's uh, load uh, our Barcelona testing session uh, log file here. Uh, you can see we have all information, vital functions mm, work, but we want to uh, create drive activity now. Okay, so we right click here and we want to add all four mm, channels throttle, position, brake position, mm, steering angle and gear. Uh, we, we are going to use time distance graph uh, only so we click add group and we are looking for throttle position. Okay, we click the green is fine. Mm. Now we add the brake pedal position. Another group uh, is steering wheel angle and gear. Okay and we click OK and there we go we have uh, four graphs four channels uh, if you know that uh, there's a value which uh, reaches 100% I recommend to um, to increase the maximum value like uh, one hundred and ten, and thus uh, you can always see um, the maximum value because now, as you can see here, for instance, one hundred percent, we can't see it here because of this label here. So let uh, increase the maximum value. Okay, enough for now. And uh, yeah, view and values window. We have the layout of the track here. And actually, uh, what is very important here, I think throttle position and brake position is self-explanatory. 100% means full application, full throttle or full brake. Mm, zero means no throttle or no brake at all. Uh, gear 
uh, channel I think is is uh, very mm, understandable as well because uh, we have mm, gears here now we are the third gear this is fourth fifth gear etc etc so only only channel that should be uh, briefly discussed is steering wheel angle because uh, also I recommend you to add a gauge of a steering wheel so we the free space here right click add gauge and steering wheel and we choose our channel which is uh, steering wheel angle of course and uh, only thing uh, we should uh, uh, choose is polarity and we want positive channel values rotate the wheel clockwise okay and we have the steering wheel okay perfectly and uh, make sure that uh, both uh, both uh, mm, the both uh, steering wheel gauge and uh, the graph show positive values uh, turning right for instance or turning left de uh, de it depends on what you choose and as you can see we are on the main straight so this positive value means we turn right and also here we should have positive value which uh, we does uh, which we do so uh, as you can see everything is fine here and you can um, even better see uh, what driver does with the steering wheel okay and uh, actually um, that's all uh, about driver activity but I'd like to um, cover a uh, very very one very very important thing uh, yet uh, which is variance this thing here show variance we can press either F3 button uh, or click uh, this icon here and variance uh, shows us the gap uh, between uh, two analyzing analyzed uh, laps so of course we need another lap we have two laps here with very small gap between them less than yeah, about two tenths of a second and we go to data and uh, we should uh, let's imagine the first uh, the first log file is uh, for drivers A uh, log file the, the second one, the quicker is the driver B and uh, driver A wants to know where he loses uh, these two tens of a second so um, let uh, the slowest, uh, slower lap time is our reference uh, lap time now and we click here and now we have two different uh, laps overlaid and uh, we can see the differences and now we press F3 button and we can see where and how much driver A loses to driver B and this is I think the most important feature of uh, this uh, FS software so uh, yeah just quickly let's see uh, where uh, these two tens of a second were lost as you can see uh, we're on the main straight let's zoom in a little bit we are on the main straight and everything is fine, the gap is almost zero but uh, everything uh, starts to being worse uh, breaking into turn one because uh, 
remember uh, mm, the white uh, color is the fastest so as you can see mm, driver A uh, brake much earlier than driver B and then look how long driver driver B was a full break and you can see that only in before actually turning into turn one the gap was already two tenths of a second and uh, even and through turn three which is, which is very uh, fast understeer swing right hander you can see the gap was half a second almost half, half a second but then uh, I, I don't want to focus on everything right now because it takes time I just w I want you to show I just want to show you how it works and uh, yeah that's how you can that's how you can check these differences here on straight six you can see uh, driver A in a slower on a slower lap was quicker slightly quicker less than one tenth of a second but he was quicker so these uh, two laps are very inconsistent okay actually uh, that's all I, I hope you enjoyed the video if you like it uh, uh, subscribe share because more uh, stuff is going to be added in the future and uh, again thanks for your attention I hope you enjoy it and bye.